What's up, everybody? Welcome into another JHAL Tech Tip, where we're going to talk about how to clean up your C drive in Windows 10 and make your PC faster. There's nothing that can bog your computer down like not cleaning up and doing the maintenance that's needed. So these tips are hopefully going to help you out, and we're going to go through them very quickly because they're really easy to do. It's just sometimes we don't always know that they're there. So a lot of it's going to originate on your Windows Start button on the bottom left. Before you left-click on it, don't do that, just right click. It's gonna bring up this menu. You're gonna click on run. Once you click on run, you're gonna type in the letters T-E-M-P or just type in temp, you're gonna hit okay. You might get a warning to run as administrator. That's going to be okay. Everything here is temporary, which means you can control A and you want to shift delete to make sure that it goes away permanently or as close to permanently as you can. You're gonna hit do this for all current items. You're gonna hit continue. It will say that there are gonna be certain things that you can't delete. So you're just gonna do this for all current items and hit skip. Now that you're done with that, you're going to right click on the Windows button again. You're gonna hit run and this time you're gonna put percentage temp percentage. You're gonna hit okay. It's gonna bring up another window and do the exact same thing. You're going to control all. You're going to shift delete and do the exact same thing. You're gonna hit yes. It might take a while depending on the size that you have. Again, unskippable or undeletable. So all you're gonna do, do this for all current items and you're going to hit skip. Now that you've got that done, we're gonna go one more time through the run phase as we're going to right click run. And this time you're gonna type in prefetch, P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H and hit enter. Again, you're going to control A, shift delete and hit yes. And you're gonna clean up everything again and go through the exact same steps as things aren't deletable. And that's going to be the first three steps, but wait, there's more. Our next step is going to be the old control alt delete or for those of you that like the shortcut control shift escape but we're going to control alt delete we're going to go to task manager this is something in windows 10 that might be different than what you're used to go to your startup now this is an area where sometimes you might have installed stuff that automatically starts up whether you knew it or not and this is a way where you can see the status enabled versus disabled it also shows the startup impact if you've installed a lot of stuff over time things might be starting in the background that you actually have no idea. So one way to do that is to just come here. You can right click and disable or you can left click and click on disable at the bottom right. And it's really that easy to make sure you should know everything that you need here at the beginning versus things that don't look familiar. You're not really going to hurt anything because there's almost nothing here. Your Windows security notification, I recommend leaving enabled. But everything else here, if you don't want it, this will mean that your computer will start faster, making things a lot easier. And it keeps unwanted programs from running in the background that started that you didn't know to begin with. Next up, we're gonna open our Windows Explorer and all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this PC. You're going to right click on your drive and you're gonna go to properties. You're gonna go to the tools tab and now you're gonna find the optimize button. You'll click on the optimize button. For me, mine runs normally. You can see it's only been three days since the last run. For those of you, you might not have this on, but you can always schedule the optimization by going to change settings here. But if this hasn't been run in a while, go ahead and click optimize and it's pl pretty easy to run. It shouldn't take much time at all. And thus it makes it very easy to do. For me, I'm not gonna worry too much about that because I've already done it recently. Your next step is to go into your search bar down at the bottom, type here to search. We're gonna look for disk cleanup. It should show the app here. We're gonna click on this, which drive normally for most of you, it's gonna be your C drive. You're gonna hit okay. It's gonna bring up this new prompt here. Now I recommend making sure that if you need to be looking at stuff, your downloads folder is by going into your Explorer and clicking on your downloads folder. I have things there that I actually wanna keep, but always be careful that you don't accidentally delete stuff. This is one way where you can see those temporary files, all the different things. Check the things that you don't want there. Most of these are very passable to where they'll just come back if needed over time. The recycling bin, of course, is something you wanna keep an eye on. The temporary files, all of the different things. I can clean this up. You can see the amount of total space that I'll get. And then I can hit okay. I'm going to leave most of this here because I know what most of this is. But for me, I'm gonna uncheck the things I don't need and keep the things that I do need. We're just gonna make sure and hit okay from there. We're gonna delete files permanently and make sure that that's gone. 
Now, speaking of your recycling bin, you should always make sure that you should occasionally delete this as needed because we just emptied it. It's grayed out, so empty recycle bin is not there. This is an easy tip that if you delete stuff, a lot of times it gets thrown in here. You can always open it to check to see what's in there, and maybe you deleted something you didn't mean to, but overall, you normally want to keep this empty because it's just space that you're wasting in a trash can. Imagine having a trash can that just grows larger inside of your home, but your home doesn't get any bigger. And lastly, there's one other thing, as I mentioned earlier, even in the startup tab, sometimes there's things that we've installed a long time ago that we don't need anymore. So what we can do is we can go to the search bar again and we can type in uninstall or start to type in uninstall and we're gonna see add or remove programs. It's gonna open up this window and we can see when everything was installed and all the things that we have here. This is very catered to you and what you have on here in terms of things that you use versus things that you don't use because there's going to be a lot of stuff. I recommend spending a little bit of time on here. All you would have to do is click on different things and then you click on uninstall to make sure that you go through that and there's gonna be the proper steps because it will be different for each different application based on what's going on and we can uninstall things like this that might have even just come with our computer and it's just been sitting there this whole time and we had no idea it was even there. So we just and uninstall stuff as needed, uninstall, uninstall, and it says it might be unrelated or related to something else. As you can see, the prompt comes up and this is how things work, but that's it. These are the quick and simple, easy ways to make sure to clean up your C drive in Windows 10 to make your computer faster so that there aren't things running in the background programs that are installed that shouldn't be installed or cleaning up valuable space that might be bogging your computer down and they're really that easy. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button below or leave a comment letting me know if this helped things on your end to make your computer faster and made your computer work a lot easier. Also be sure to subscribe as well as every little bit helps here on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time.